Hello and welcome back. My name is Stefano and I'll be taking you through our Mun misadventures to build a lunar base. So, in the last episode, specifically episode 2, we had a major problem with our space program where we couldn't get off the planet at all. So, we put our Kerbals through training again and they seem to have successfully a pass. There were some hiccups, but ultimately they made it. So now, what I did while you're gone, I just unlocked some new parts. I haven't progressed any further. We still have the same um, missions as before. And if you don't recall, or if you didn't see from the previous video, that one mission is quite simply, but not so simply, get into orbit around Kerbin. So, what I'm going to do now is try and build a craft to do that. And then we can kick off uh, our space per or we can kick off beginning again with our mun building mission or goal. Alright, so I'm throwing the less is more ideology out the window. That doesn't seem to work for me. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, so, we're going to try to just build rockets and just anything that looks cool and looks like it might make it we're going for so I just need to get this one rocket built Let's see here you know for as much as I've played this game I still haven't learned where the parts are so you'll see me constantly flip back and forth between where parts are. It's absolutely ridiculous. Most people who play games for a long time know where everything's at. And you know, I actually, I've probably put in about 200 some hours in this game already. Um, so I actually do know, at least I thought I knew what I was doing, but apparently not. This, this whole budget thing has scared me and has made me want to reduce my rocket building capabilities um, the main reasons obviously are just because of the budget so uh, I've been building ships with that in mind and that I think that's prevented me from accomplishing a lot of my goals all right so let's get this all set up um, let's move this down here so I want these to fire and then when that's done, oh wait, actually, let's do something this different. So we want these to fire, then they break off, and then we're going to make these fire next. Uh, and then when those are done, this will shoot. And when that's done, this one will go off. And same here. Okay, that looks good. Let's just uh, save this and be like, Orbiter 1. Actually, V1. I think. We have a couple other things in here from last time. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these because they were completely useless. It failed me miserably. Uh, did not mean to do that. Oh, we saved. Not a big deal. Save again, just in case. Alright, just to show you, and what I, I should have recorded this before I did it, but I had mixed feelings about playing that day. Uh, so here it is. I had about 60 science, maybe a little bit more. And I went ahead and unlocked these two stages. Or these three stages. And speaking of which, I should check my... Oops. I should check my contracts to see what's available because I didn't even bother to do that. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Test flight over Kerbin. Uh, we're going to stick to the easy stuff at first. LVT 45, land on a Kerbin. Uh, in flight. Uh, probably save this hard stuff for later. 
or maybe not even do it at all. Because, I mean, we have to remember here, where, yeah, the contracts are helpful, but we're only trying to get to the Mun and build a, a Mun base. Alright, so I'm going to double check my ship that is apparently gone now. To make sure that I can at least do some of these requirements. Sorry, I really don't know what any of these parts are. They're by name, at least. Yep, I think I messed that up. Uh, LVT45. LV, that's this thing. Hmm. Okay, 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 I got it. Quick test. Alright, so, new. Wham. Liquid fuel engine landed, and then... The T1 launch stability enhancer. So we need to do a very simple test. This is my enhancer. Launch stability enhancer. Okay, I trust myself so much. I am not going to Uh, put parachutes on here, but uh, you know what? This is one of those situations. Better safe than sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for gold. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna take a risk. We're gonna risk Jebediah's life, and we're gonna do it. All right, here we go. I have to. I do have to thrust a little bit to get this first part. Oh lord, that wasn't good. Oh, but I accomplished it anyway. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and recover. Beautiful. 100% of the value, one broken part, not a big deal. Alright, let's go ahead and do this next piece. So should Jebediah be the first man to go into space? That's the debate we're having. He is kind of our superstar, but this is an untested rocket flying for the first time. You know what? We're going to do it. Jebediah. We're taking Jebediah into space. He will be our man to lead this mission. Okay, so we're going to do one final check real quick to make sure we have everything in place. Looks good to me. Uh, Jebediah, are you ready? Are you ready, buddy? Looks like you're ready to me. Alright, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We need to redeem ourselves from last time. Rocket's already leaning a little bit. It's kind of scary, but we'll see what happens. We're going to continue on. Rocket so far is working beautifully. No hitches yet in the design. So far, so good. Not sure if we'll make it, but it looks like we will. So we're about to find out if all that training paid off or not. Oh, Bessie. I can't turn it over. Okay, I guess we're just going to keep going. Up. Uh, about to break. See if we'll make it. Looks like we're going to make it into space. So that'll accomplish part of our goal is here. Reach space. If not, we might just have to turn around and come home. There we go. Jebediah's ran around the complex several times. Just to get back in shape and fit into these capsules. Oh my gosh. Too far. Way too far. Okay, let's see if I can save us here. Well, we are definitely in space. Collect some science while I'm here. Do a quick EVA report. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. You've recorded your observations about the situation. Okay. Clearly not much to report on, I guess. Even though this is the first time we've had a successful mission in space. All of that training has definitely paid off. This is working out very well. Better than mission control and command has thought. See if I can try and correct this orbit a little bit. Get it nice and flat. It's pretty good. Almost there. Think we're gonna do it. We got plenty of fuel. I can still make it home. I think. Plenty of electricity. There it is. We're gonna make it. We've done it. We've got the achievement. We have achieved orbit in this tiny little craft that I know you can't see. And this is the problem I was trying to convey in previous episodes. That these crafts are definitely going to be hard to see because it is so dark in space. And my, the lighting on my TV doesn't help. But I promise I'll try and always put lights on all of my craft. So you can see them and uh, everyone will be happy. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick time warp here so we can come back home and hopefully land back on Kerbin. Okay, so my goal right now is to try and land as close to the Kerbin Space Center as possible. And it's right around here somewhere. And that's where I got to go. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to aim or how to do this. I've never try to land as close to it as possible in the past uh, for two reasons one mainly because I just didn't really care and two uh, there wasn't a budget so recovering pieces was always just an afterthought okay so we're gonna see how that works out do a quick another quick little time warp here all right, about to re-enter the atmosphere of the planet, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm about to miss this. I'm going to be way off. Let's see if I can get a little bit higher so I don't have to worry about it. It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. I think this will be the closest landing we've ever had. Sorry, a little lost here. It's gonna use up the last of our fuel to try and get as close as we can. It's not gonna be close enough though. I do see it. I'm shooting the wrong way. Alright. Beautiful picture of them. I would guess that's the some star back there. Maybe a planet. I'm not sure if you can actually see the planets. Moon is directly above us. That's really cool. Maybe that's Minimus or something. Who knows? All right, we have landed. Let's see if we can do some science while we're out here. Try to tip this thing over. Nope. Not gonna happen. All right. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and recover it then. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got 101 science. That's good. We got 95% of our total value back on that ship. I guess that's good. Nice chunk of change from that. Jebediah lived. This is always a good sign. Let's see what's next on the roster. Explore the mine. Yeah, that's not happening. Our guys just got back from training. They're tired and wore out. Rescue Bermel Kerman from Kerbin. Hmm. You know what? I think we can do this. We're gonna try. 
and we're gonna do some research since I got we're gonna need batteries and solar panels oh, oh man not enough left alright this is gonna be fun I think this rocket worked out really well. I'm fairly confident that if I add another, let's see here, I'm gonna add another capsule on top, and this will be to get Bermol or whatever his name was inside of here. Um, I'm actually going to. Wow, didn't mean to do that. Try to add some extra rockets on here, some mini rockets. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this yet, I'm just kind of doing it. Don't look doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough room. See that's a lot of extra weight I added. Added another. I actually can't read this because the screen's so far away. I believe that's 0.84 mass. It's not very aerodynamic either. Hmm. No controls. We're gonna add one battery. Sure, might as well just add two batteries. Definitely not four. Hope those two parachutes will do me some good. Just gonna do a quick double check of my stages. All right. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for this because it's at night time or it's about to be night so we're gonna have some trouble seeing this ship take off here but I'm gonna do my best to try and do this in a timely fashion so now I'm thinking about it where is he okay so I've skipped ahead a little bit uh, to where I'm actually in space with my little craft uh, I think I'm gonna be able to do this on my well, I'm gonna on my first try, which will be really nice. So, we need to be below, just below, Bermel, uh, to catch up with him. We also need to try and create an orbit. So, I'm going to zip ahead here and uh, catch up to him at the maneuver. Now, rendezvousing is not necessarily the easiest thing to do it definitely takes some practice but once you do it it's like clockwork you can do it all the time it's just a matter of patience and that's one thing I've learned a lot from this game is just being patient so what we have to do here is match our target speed or actually make ourselves go zero meters per second relative to the target so that way we will be in almost a synchronous orbit with him. Just fighting this no, trying to get it down to zero meters per second as much as possible. And then once we do that, that's good enough. We just need to fire towards our target. Oops, didn't mean to do that. What we're trying to do is just get as close as possible, so it was about 17 kilometers away from him earlier, and I am down to about 4. Now we're going to do a quick time warp, and we're just going to repeat the process until we are right on top of him. So I need to slow myself down from 65 meters per second to about 0.
to do this a couple more times. And I hear that once I'm two kilometers within range, oh, I almost overshot it. I should be able to switch to him and pick him up. Okay, so we're on the dark side of the planet, of course, so you won't be able to see this too well. But we just need to close in this gap. I'm getting ready to fire a retro because eventually when I get close enough I'm going to be too uh, off balance or not in the same orbital plane as him. So I'm just on standby waiting until I get closer. This could take, take some time here. Oh. Gonna burn, 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 burn. Try not to overburn though. Alright, it's so about 230 meters out, so we're going to switch to him. Oh lord, it is dark. And we're going to fly straight to my ship. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, there it is. Could've been really bad. Oh, smacked right into it. Came bugger came up quick, didn't it? All right. I hope you're all right there. Well, that is part of being an astronaut hitting objects in space <laughs> oh come on there we go and while I'm out here we are going to collect some more science okay that's not worth anything alright let's bring her home so looks like we're already and a good setup here to try and come back and land at the KSC. So let's see what happens. We're going to figure this out together. So I'm going to try and bring myself down. See, last time I think my... I was way too high. Or no, low. So we're going to be down to about 30,000 meters. 35,000 meters and see how that works out do a little time warping just really trying to adjust this as much as I can to just make it that extra mile but I'm probably gonna run a little fuel and land in the same place as I did last time just uh, south of the mountains but we're gonna try really hard here I probably should save some fuel just in case I just land too hard alright we are completely out of fuel I decided not to uh, save any fuel. I'm just going to try and get as far as I can, as close as I can, and hopefully that my parachutes can slow me down enough uh, to keep me from breaking anything or getting anything destroyed. Probably going to hit these mountains, which could be good or bad, depending on how you look at the situation. I think the mountains give you some science, some uh, gravel or dirt or something that Kerbins have never touched before or at least on this side of the planet. Deploy parachutes here shortly. Alright. Six meters per second. This has worked out wonderfully. Wonderfully indeed. Baby soft landing. So I put myself down sideways for a reason. Actually going to do an EVA here. Collect some science. Um, gonna make Bob get out. Oops. Oh, that would have been terrible if that thing started rolling down the hill. All right. Okay, this is not good.
Beautiful. Okay. This one's a little bit higher. Let's see if I... What happens to furl it this way instead? It's about the same, hmm? You know what? I think we're just gonna recover it. We can always come back next time. Alright, so we're just gonna call it uh, quits for here today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.